Hi everyone, in today's Spark, I wanna talk about the importance of implementation because implementation is what's gonna show you what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Sometimes what happens is we'll learn stuff and we won't even bother to implement it because we've already decided that it's not going to work. But really the power and the awareness that you get from doing things is what really will show you what works, what doesn't work, what you like, what you friggin hate. So when we're out and we're investing in ourselves, we're learning how to do new things, we're learning new ways of being, it is very important to do the implementation step. Otherwise you don't know. So that can be everything from going through and properly filling out your social media accounts so that people truly understand what you offer and so that the algorithms pick you up. That is proper implementation so that you can see if Facebook really works for you or not. But if you half do it or kind of do it and then say you tried it, you actually haven't implemented it. So you don't know if it doesn't work because you haven't done it properly. It's same with if you decide to um, start up a new training system in your company. If you don't properly and fully implement it, then you won't know if it works for you or not. If you kinda sorta, or this is how we kinda do it when we bring new people on, you will not have a proper gauge of if it works for you or not. Same if we wanna go into the health realm. Um, if you are deciding to do um, keto or the Mediterranean diet or paleo or whole foods or whatever, and you don't fully implement, you don't fully do it, you can't be running around telling people with authenticity and integrity that it doesn't work for you because you haven't fully implemented it. So what I like to do is I will go all in, as in both feet, and I will hammer out at something for a good 90 days all in, and then within that 90 days of implementing, I will know if something truly works for me or not then I can honestly say it works or it doesn't work. So I would love to hear where you haven't fully implemented and what you're gonna go back and redo or retry instead of saying, it doesn't work for me. And let's do a couple of clearings. So clearings, for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel, are kind of like a reverse hypnosis or a reverse affirmation. We pull junk out so we can kind of have the space to make that next choice. So everywhere you are partially implementing as a way to use procrastination or sabotage yourself by then telling yourself, lying to yourself, I've tried that or I've done that, will you all destory, delete, untangle, unwind, dissipate, and release? That's the clearing. That's where you kind of say, yes, I do. And everywhere you're choosing to not fully implement so that you can, from a place of authenticity, really determine if it works for you or not, will you destory, delete, untangle, unwind, dissipate, and release? Again, that's where you do the yes. And everywhere I believe that it would be a waste of time to go back and redo stuff that I haven't properly implemented or haven't fully embraced and done. Will you destory, delete, untangle, unwind, dissipate, and release? It's okay if you fall off the wagon with your implementation. It's okay if you don't do it right the first time. The key is to keep implementing until you have mastered it and then be the judge. Does it work for you or not? Because if it doesn't, that's a learning. If it does, that's a learning. And we're all here to learn, grow, and evolve. We'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next spark. Cheers.